The Asia Pacific Dance Festival showcases the finest dances, dancers, and choreographers from Asia and the Pacific. Now, this festival kicked off a few days ago, and we have a little over a week left before it's all done. So, our Kamaka Pili joins us live from Village Manoa with more. Hey, Kamaka. Hey Lauren, that's right. This is the Asia Pacific Dance Festival. Now, if you're anything like me, who I love culture and I love learning about other people's culture, exchange of sharing my culture, this is a perfect event and a perfect festival to participate in. Now, this has been this started July 22nd. It's going to be lasting all the way through next weekend. There's so much things about this, but to get at least one portion and find out more information, we're here with Joseph Gonzalez, who's the director of one of the dance companies, Ask Dance Company. Thank you very much for having us. Well, thank you for having me. Oh. Yeah. I appreciate for you guys coming all the way down from Malaysia and sharing your culture. But before we get to that, tell us a, a little bit about what this festival is all about. Yes, I was very attracted to the concept of the festival when I was approached uh, by the organizers about a year ago uh, with the theme of To Awaken. And for me, To Awaken uh, brings so many meanings and so many messages about how we need to be awake to ourselves to be present to who we are and also to be present to our fellow human beings and to be awakened and awaken our senses to to feel and to touch and to hear and to listen properly and and sort of meaningful um, presence with ourselves and with each other and I thought um, because in dance there's so much that we do which is about being awake and it's about being aware and it's about being mindful and I just felt that the festival is so in tune with the kinds of things that I believe in and it's an extremely extensive festival that covers areas which one of which is for example culinary arts which unfortunately and because we are so busy doing another part of the festival that we haven't really been able to um, partake of you know and partake in so uh, we ourselves the Ask Dance Company we've been involved in the intensive in which there is a local company uh, that uh, teaches and talks about hula to us and other participants every day and then it's take it's uh, over to us and we introduce Malaysian culture over five days and there's a presentation and we talk about um, the different aspects and components of our culture and then in the afternoon it's uh, three hours of workshops of the different dance forms that we are bringing to this so it's an incredible opportunity to share and to build bridges and to learn about each other and to find out who we are and what makes us similar and what differences there are and and that dance actually bridges and crosses all those boundaries you know Oh, right on. I, I, the, there's so much. I mean, just listening to you was not even everything that is part of this, but that's some of it. Now, in this festival, they bring in different cultures. Of course, Hawaii, Malaysian is what they're bringing in, and we also have some British Columbia dances and influence in this. Now, again, this is lasting all the way through next weekend, so make sure you go to our website, k2n2.com. You can find all the information or the link to the website that will have all the information, the schedule. Now, I'll toss it back to you guys for now, but first, we'll take a little sneak peek of this Malaysian-influenced dance with Ask Dance Company. Take it away. That. Justin, can you do that? No, in fact, you know what? I don't know if you know this about me, but dancing is one of my biggest phobias. Oh, yeah. really? What? Yeah, yeah. You like you won't even I like just, bust a, yeah. like a move right now. No, no. You can't go like oh, back and forth. Yeah. Oh, Justin, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I like that. Never again, He's all. I never can't again. dance. <laughs> right. <laughs> don't laugh too hard, Brit. No, it was awesome. It okay. just caught me off guard. 